What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ro Timmy, a.k.a. Mr. Sexy Nigerian Butterscotch, a.k.a. Mr. Baby, Baby, yeah. And I'm finna win this thing, man. I know this guy back and forth. His name is Charlie, but y'all don't even really know that. So <laughs> you'll find out. <laughs> How you doing? My name is Kenny Hamilton, and uh, I manage that guy. And you're watching Artist Relations on All Deaf Music. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Give me the first question. Ooh, that's tough, man. Hold on. That, that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> They trying to get us arguing. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I already put my answer in. I'm good. <laughs> Ooh. He won. He won. He giving the point. Give him the point. He's right. <laughs> That's the hell, man. No, I'll say because he puts the same amount of detail and passion into both. And, you know, we, we're in a society today where people act like you can only do one thing and you can't do, you know, you can't be great at multiple things. But, you know, time has proven that that you can. And you got like the, the Jamie Foxes, the Harry Belafonte's, the Sammy Davis Jr.'s that have proven it before. But I think we just forgot about that. So, yeah, you know, even like Bo Jackson and Deion Sanders when it came to sports, like wow, you can be yeah. at a top level when it comes to more than one thing. And that's what he is. So, yeah. Appreciate that, bro. I was gonna say, but if I said that, then it'll be you know I didn't want to come off. You know, <laughs> it's like, oh, like, oh, like, oh. like damn, you can't. <laughs> it's like they'd be like, "Yo, be covering yourself." Yo, I'm good at both. Ah, oh, you stuck up. <laughs> like, exactly right. <laughs> you can't win. You can't yeah. win. Now, is there one that you enjoy more? Like, is uh, there one that comes more naturally? Maybe you know what I'm saying. I know his answer uh, for that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, I think you know being creative. Being creative is is equally fun and equally as free for me. So there's not really something that, oh, this is difficult. I think I enjoy being on stage more than anything. But in terms of the craft of acting, like we just had a call about a, a music video and I was able to apply the things I knew of being an actor into this video equally as performance on how I perform the video. So it's like, they go hand in hand, and I can't really choose. But if I had to pick a, a, a thing, I'd probably say performing is probably my favorite thing. Oh, wait, like that's a trick question though. What rapper would Kenny have playing in his car? That's a trick question me. because I can tell you <laughs> what he's playing right now, and I can tell you his favorite. So you gotta ask me which, you gotta specify, because I deserve two points for this because I know <laughs> both of them. You know what I'm saying? Okay, then, then Kenny, specify. Are we talking about what's your favorite or what's in your car right now? And then that let's way you can both let's answer. Say, let's say favorite. Okay. Oh, favorite. Oh, yeah, I got you. This would be some. Sh can we curse? Oh, Absolutely. I was. No, nah, I can't. I can't. I made a promise to God. Hold on. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> so what? favorite. I said favorites. You said favorites. <laughs> you said he was your favorite. That's top three for sure. Actually, number two probably. <laughs> I listen so, to every day. Crack, yo. I got a pop song playing every day. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Alexa, play some music. Oh. <laughs> what do you say? She said, outcast. <laughs> Yesterday was point. Tupac. Give me my point. <laughs> Give me my point. All right, all right, all right. Alexa. I, I... Pause. <laughs> God damn, bitch. <laughs> Come on, knife it. Hold up. <laughs> that was amazing. OK, so y'all obviously know each other very, very well. How long have you guys been like working together, and how did you guys meet? Um, we've been working together for almost three years now. Jeez, 2021 mm -hmm. will be three years, uh, February. Yeah. And, um, we met through a through a mutual friend a few years ago, um, towards the end of 2017, and um, I was transitioning from another company to just kind of go back into focusing just solely on management at the time. And um, we just started talking. He was telling me what his vision was, and you know, I kind of did a deep dive into like his music and how he wanted to build and where he wanted to go. And you know, we set a plan out, and we agreed on the plan, and we just kind of put our hands down and just got to working. 100%. Wow. Oh. <laughs> like it's, it's so funny because 
you know, when, when you, it's a testament to how good you do a job, and especially when it comes to acting and in the, in the theatrical sense, when people can't distinguish or can't separate, you know, character from reality of a real person. But I'm like, Reckless isn't even a noun that I would even use to be close to describe Rotimi's personality. I appreciate it, it's true. Like, I, 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 I you know, I've, I grew up in a situation where it was about get the work done and then play later, you know? And then my team is so strong, like with Kenny, um, my publicist, Madi, you know, and the producers I work with, everybody that I rock with is in sound mind, even my, my beautiful, you know, woman, like everybody is so sound minded. So reckless is not even anything that can come close. And even before all of that, that never was my personality. Like I remember walking around and people would be like, oh, that's great, I hate him, but damn, he fine. <laughs> and then like you go, a, you go in a club and it's like all the gangsters in whatever town you in would just give you respect. So it's like all the all the thugs and all the gangsters in whatever city we would be in would be like trying to send bottles and want to come hang out at the table. Yeah. So it was yeah. never like uh, somebody challenging. It was like, you know, a lot of gangsters and hood cats saw themselves in that character. In so that character. Like, one of us. So and we were good in pretty much every hood, literally. Everywhere. But we're going so the question is, what does Kenny order at the bar? Yeah. We're going like just like a generic, right? Not like specific drink. Because at times I can just do the bottle or. Yeah, he does the bottle. It, cool. and it, Let's just, we'll just stay with the general. We'll stay with the general, what the, the drink is. The type of alcohol? <laughs> yeah, the type of alcohol. Or is like the type of alcohol. The type of alcohol. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. That was easy. Yeah, that was easy. That was, that was a little too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Rotimi's dream collab? But is this past, present, or dead? Are you asking? Me? Yeah. How do we want to clarify this one? Um. It could be dead or alive. Okay. Yeah. That's my guy. Yep. Is that like a career path or like type of artistry, the direction that you kind of see yourself? Um. I, you know, I think I think for what Bob Marley stood for, man, was love, wisdom, um, fighting for his people, speaking, you know, giving gems in music you know, making people feel good for generations. I think in that regard, absolutely. I don't think there's anybody else who's done it like that. And, um, you know, to be the first of his kind, you know, and I feel like I'm kind of the first of mine in a way too. So I think this is pretty dope. Oh, that's easy. That's not even political. <laughs> you ain't gotta be Y'all be trying to start shit with these questions, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's the same person, baby. <laughs> it's the same person, baby. <laughs> so where does butterscotch come from? Huh? Where does butterscotch come from? Butterscotch has been here for centuries, you know. I could, so you know, no, but no, seriously, uh, it was a skit that I had come up with in 2017. I, I just needed. I tried to figure out a way that. I didn't have any music at the time coming out, so I had to figure out how to get people to disconnect from Dre and just show different elements of of what I could do as an entertainer. And so um, it just hit me one day, man, and you know that lightning in the bottle moment that that you know just organically picks up. And then the first person to retweet it was Snoop, then Fifty, then Floyd Mayweather, then Shade Room. So at that point, it was over a hundred million people had seen it, and then it just kind of just you know, grew into, yeah. And it was during the time where Afro beats had really just started coming to the States in 2017-ish with WizKid. And so it was, it was the first moment of being cool to be African. So it, it, everything worked out, you know, at the at the right time for that one. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 And I'll just clarify, just because you fall in love fast or in love doesn't make you a simp. <laughs> we gotta change that narrative when it comes to men. Exactly. However, mm -hmm. for the purpose of answering this question, my answer is gonna be <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you see how I did that? Yeah. <laughs> you see how I did that? Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> <laughs> see how I did that? <laughs> I see you, motherfucker. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> All right, so I'm the winner. <laughs> I never would be happy that, to be called a simp in my life. I'll never accept that ever again, but <laughs> I'm the winner. But now, nah, nah, Kenny had a good point, man. You know, I think we got to change the narrative of, of saying that, you know, with men, love and being a simp, don't go to, don't go in the same, you know, same sentence. You know, I think that the strongest men are able to show love to, to, to one person and one woman. You know, I think it takes a lot of strength, so. Yeah. 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 So, you know, finding love is important. You know, I'm looking for love on Bumble, Raya, you know, <laughs> you know ladies, hit my DMs, they wide open, you 100%. know what I'm saying? Holler at your boy. I'm oh, my bad. Yeah, you know, you know, but yeah, you know, love somebody. And that's why we have a record like love somebody that makes people know the definition of love. You know, we're both really excited about this record because the one thing about it is that it's refreshing. You know, and you'll understand it, you'll feel good. It's a timeless, timeless record. And it opens the door for what I have to come that's crazy too, so I'm excited. So everybody go watch Love Somebody on YouTube. Watch it on MTV, wherever he's at. Uh, follow me at uh, Rotimi on everything. Follow him at Kenny Hamilton. Um, and you know, I think uh, the, the best is yet to come, man. I'm excited for everything we got going. And can I just say that for you single guys out there or single ladies, if you put this song on, make sure the person in the room is the person you want to be with because you don't want no problems, trust me. <laughs> like, oh, you're trying to send me a message? It's like, nah, 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 nah. So, you know, keep playing it, streaming it and all that. But it's, it's a global, you know, love is in many different variations of forms and how you see it. So, you know, find you somebody to love. The holidays are about to come up and, uh, you know, to love somebody and spread love throughout the world, you know? Yes, yes.